So I wanted to talk a little bit real quick about fighting the fight against green cabbage worms. Um, I think they're a problem for everybody. I never realized until I started gardening that those gorgeous little white butterflies that float around all spring long are actually like the most evil creature on the, well, maybe not the most evil, but anyway, very problematic as far as gardening goes. Um, if you've ever gardened vegetables, you probably know that they're a pain in the butt. Um, they will eat your cabbages, your kale, your radish greens, turnip greens, um, basically anything in the brassica family. So, uh, let's see, what else will they eat? They will also eat Brussels sprouts. Um, and sometimes, if they've eaten all that, then they'll move on to other things because they've just run out of food. So, they're, they're very prolific, very fast growing, and very sneaky. Um, I prefer to do things as organically as possible. Um, and basically the most effective way of getting rid of them is just checking your plants every day if you can. If you can check them once in the morning and once in the evening, that's even better. But basically just as often as you can. Now I'm going to show you what teeny tiny baby ones look like and what their eggs look like. So what you want to do is you go around and you check the tops of the leaves and the backs of the leaves for any big worms. And you take them off with your hands and you squish them. Now if you don't like squishing things with your hands, then I suggest you get some gloves or get two rocks to carry around with you and just mash them with the rocks. Um, but pick them off, put them on a rock, and squish them. Don't just pick them off because they'll just crawl right back. Um, yeah, so right now I'm checking my broccoli. Um, when you check, you want to first pull up any big obvious worms, then carefully look at the back and see if you see any baby worms. They are very tiny. If you see them, what? just kind of rub them off. There's not even really hardly anything to squish because they're so tiny. You just rub your finger over it and it's gone. And they're eggs because the eggs will hatch and if you just knock them off before they hatch, then you don't have to deal with the worms later and you don't end up with holes in your brassicas. So, um, I'm going to show you real quick what the baby worms look like, um, maybe what the big worms look like. I already pulled off the big worms, so if I find some somewhere else, I'll show you. Um, but I'm going to show you what the worms look like and what the eggs look like. And that's my tip for today is basically just go around every day carefully, look at your plants, and smash them if you see them. And that's basically your best bet as far as cabbage worms go. Um, if it's really a serious problem, you can cover your cabbage or brassica plants um, with mesh to keep them out. I, I just don't do that. At some point in the future, I might decide to try that. It would be a whole lot easier, but I feel like there's always the potential for something to get in. And if you're not expecting it, then it can just easily destroy a whole plant before you've even noticed it. So I would rather just check my plants as often as possible. At least once a day, twice if you have the time. If you miss a day, get out early the next morning. And uh, that, that tends to help. You can see um, this one has a few holes in it. This is more what it looks like kind of turns your plants into a Swiss cheese appearance. Um, there's a few holes over here, ones I didn't get in time. So I'm going to turn this camera around and let you see. So this is my broccoli and it is my first time growing broccoli. I got the seeds for it in a super duper seed swap off Instagram actually, which I was really excited about because like I said, I've never grown broccoli. I have two other plants, but they aren't doing as well, and this one is just so exciting. Every time I look at it, I get excited about the broccoli, because it's just so big and healthy. So, 
We can see that there have been worms here because there's little holes where they were eating through the leaves. So what I'm gonna do is just carefully flip it over and look now you can see that little white spot right there in the middle that is an egg so basically what i'm going to do is just use my nail and pop it off or you you can uh let's see there's two more up here you can just kind of smush them with your finger and it doesn't really hurt the plant it, it bruises the leaf a little bit but they're thick leaves so it really doesn't hurt the plant and you can see here there are some spots where it's not a complete hole. Sorry if that's not focusing good. Uh, there's not a complete hole, but it's thinner there. That's where I have found the worms before they made it all the way through. Now let me see if I can find any small worms for you. Nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. There's an egg. Uh, let me see. I did see some. I was, aha, uh -huh, there we go. See how tiny those little worms are? And that's where they're starting. You can actually still see next to this one, it has just come out of its egg. And the egg is still there, the shell of it. So basically you just rub your finger over those and smash them. And there's a mildly damaged spot on the back side of the leaf. There's another egg. But you're not gonna end up with holes and it's not going to hurt the plant enough so that it can't produce. So that's basically how you do that. Sorry, it's a little bit breezy out here and the camera's not wanting to focus. There we go. So that's what you do. Um, first, look for any larger worms and pull them off and then flip the leaves over and carefully look for any eggs or any uh, small worms that may be starting to grow. Because if you check in the morning and they're small, by the time you get around to checking them the next day, it will look like this, where you can see it's eaten the whole side of this leaf. And it'll be like three times or four times the size of when it started. So this is a red cabbage. There's, I don't know if you can see that. There's a small one right there. So I'll just smash that and there's an egg up on this corner so I'll rub that off and basically just going around and checking as often as possible and that should help keep your plants down or your worms on your plants down so that you don't end up with Swiss cheese brassicas now here's some collards that I didn't get to check for a few days and as you can see they're looking very sad so the key is to check every day. 